Hey Nate, come here. Look at this. So we just got to Texas Mile on Friday. We've already had our first fortune of good luck. They blessed us with a three-day pass. So we're making runs today. That's huge. Yeah, the guy taking the car is a big C5 fan. I was talking to him last December or October when I was here. And he was like, well, cool. Why don't we just upgrade you real quietly? There's not many people here today and we'll make a hit. Dude, So it's <laughs> badass. We have to go to the driver's meeting. You get that circle. And then after lunch, we'll be on grid. Making our first pass today. I'm just gonna send it. So we're down here on grid waiting for the lines to finish up so we can run. C5, where did I park? Oh, I'm back behind that blue and white stripe PG500. A lot of Corvettes out here, huh? Oh yeah. Every every other car is a Corvette. Big Corvette thing. Look at this thing. This is the big brother of my car basically. My Ram C6, C6. Pretty rowdy. Pretty cool stuff. This Ford GT over here is twin turboed. It's not the record holder car. I don't I haven't seen it this week and I don't think it's here. But it's another twin turboed Ford GT. Sounds pretty rowdy. There's Ricky hiding, waiting his turn. And then the Explorer ST parked a couple behind me. Pretty cool. Bentley. Badass summer over there. Yeah, we're just waiting our turn and hopefully we'll be running in the next 15, 20 minutes. Okay guys, we're in line. Probably got 10 cars ahead of us before I make my first pass. Um, the transmission is not happy right now with the new engine. I just, at higher RPM, it just won't shift. We changed to a tick slash tilt and master cylinder, thinking that would help it a little bit, but it didn't have any effect. Um, so we're just gonna take it easy on the trans right now and hope for the best.
Okay, so just finished our first rip, 185 might I add, and gearing wise, at the very end of the run, we were at 69.30. The red line's at seven grand on this motor, and peak power is actually only at 62. So as far as where we are and all of the power being delivered in the run, it's perfect. It literally could not be better. Um, so now I see a few points in the tune-up where it went a little lean. Um, we're a little over 100 kPa right now in Biva with the current DA. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of fuel in those areas and then we'll let everything chill out for a little bit. I need to get some food uh, and uh, we'll go make a second hit after I go get my 180 plus t-shirt. Finally got that. I can't believe it. 10 mile an hour with the new engine and the gearing. That's insane. Totally rad. So remember on the dyno video, we picked up 18? Yeah. 18 like horsepower without the filter and I just made the pass with the filter still on. And so we're gonna take that off. We bumped up the rev limiter to 7,400 just because I really, I, I'm at 6,950 on the end of that run. My rev limiter is at seven grand. So I bumped it up because in case we do hit it, I don't want that to be the reason I don't, I will lose a two mile an hour. And then, uh, so we're gonna make those changes, flash this new tune and get back in line. All right. Draining the catch can. There's like two tablespoons of oil in it. Yep, two tablespoons of oil. We got the filter pulled out. Pull the filter out. Yeah, if y'all remember, I had a different value plate in there and I had these two big Dash 12s coming off. Totally unbaffled, totally uncorrect. Everything bad. And who would, man, who would have thought OEM baffles? I know, it's crazy. Got one there and then got one in the rear valve cover back there. I don't know if y'all probably can't see it, but it's back there. Those are coming into this catch can. And yeah, that thing is just barely filling up a little container I've got down there. Uh, I'm not gonna try to show y'all. Oh, there it is. Awesome stuff. You know, Jacob, another thing about the uh, filter, when we were dynoing it, the filter, I mean, the car was stationary. Yeah. And it's a Vera ram, right? So if you come yeah. look at the front, the air's being sucked in through two ports right here and here on each side of the bumper. And so if it picked up 15 to 20 horsepower stationary, still, yeah. the, the question is how much more is it gonna pick up when air is being rammed? You know what's scary? The intake. One of these, that's where to come off. <laughs> yeah, that would be... That'd be a little... <laughs> that would be, <laughs> be a little catastrophic. A little buzzkill for the weekend. I mean, cool. she already ate, like, uh, you know, a tablespoon of aluminum, so, like, what's another nut? Well, that was... That wasn't really in the combustion <laughs> chamber. That was in the oil pan. Yeah. Well, what does that matter? Oh, the catch can. The train fell over. We're making a big mess. All right, guys. We're going to get this car ironed out and get back up there.
slower. I went slower. Isn't that what happened last time? Like when you came, you went the fastest your first run and then just went slower? No matter what I'm doing, if it's drag racing or this, I go the fastest my first pass. And then it takes me like three or four to get back to where I was. Well, you have all day tomorrow. And we have all day the next two days. But Yeah. You got lucky you got to go today. Yeah. That is true. It's because you didn't have your good luck kiss before. Is that what it was? Yes. That's what it was, you're right. Yes, because I tried when you were backing out. I was like, wait, you wouldn't look at me. And I was like, darn, he's not getting his good luck kiss. That's it. That's why. That's why? Yep. Yes. Alrighty. I'm done for the day, I think. Yeah, because we can check into the hotel now. What are we having for dinner? Burgers. I thought we were having burgers for dinner or for dinner tomorrow also. You are correct. We can have burgers for the next, like, three meals? Correct. Great weekend. We went slower. So I had a thought, but it didn't really make complete sense to me. Um, we tuned it last time. Freaking heck, man! We, we tuned it last time with the filter off. So I'm curious if well, it had it leaned out this time. Maybe. So we had two more KPA in the manifold. Okay. So gains. It's in here. Hold on. The tune up. Nah, tune up is good. But, I mean, we're correcting. We're under a percent. Yeah, your tune is tune up good. Tune up dead, dead on. Were you still shifting at seven? Were you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first gear I shifted at 66, second gear I shifted at, the, it went to 74.89 on the shift, so it was up there. Of course, it kind of like revs up a little bit on the shift, I, that's at least my shifts do, I don't know. Well, because when you clutch you in, the, motor, the, the motor accelerates. No, no, I stay on come, the gas. No, you don't. <laughs> this is why I'm shifting issues. I'm looking at my DPS, I'm on the gas. Um, no, I do lift. Yeah, and then the third gear I shift again. So 74, 78. Yeah, that's your problem. <laughs> Woo! You're making peak power at 62. The fact that you still ran 184 with revving it up to that much. Uh, well, no, it, that's just where it blips up to because of the acceleration. I actually shifted that. Well, I was wide open throttle until like, yeah. Oh, well, I'm hitting the clutch and then I'm just delaying when I lift off the gas pedal. <laughs> 7400 again, fifth gear. That might be why you're having shifting issues. Well, I'm initiating the shift at seven. You should oh. just issue. You should just come off and come back on. Split second. Your shift will be a lot faster if you do that. Mm. Will it now? On my when I was driving my car, I would I would I was still coming off the gas and I was still shifting really fast. Yes, it was a newer transmission, but that still could be a factor on why your sinkers are having trouble sinking. It's because you're still on the gas. I'm always on the gas. Well, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we saw smart PM on that one. Uh, but yeah, top of fifth gear. Fuel pressure was still 50 PSI. And oil pressure was still 57 PSI. So a little low. 57 PSI at 7 grand. It's a little yeah. under the golden yeah. norm, but it's fine. We just need to put an oil accumulator on the car now. Well, heck. So I think one put your shifts back at seven, if not a little oh, sooner. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to shift at seven. <laughs> oh, you think shift Two. earlier? You shift, shift at like Your a shift should be happening on here at seven. They are. I'm initiating the shift at seven. I, I know you're in. initiating the shift at seven, but it needs to be happening at seven. Know what I'm saying? No. Okay. <laughs> Whatever your shift seven. light. I don't know shift light. <laughs> You, 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 you're, if this was an automatic transmission, you could tell it when to shift exactly, it should be at 7. So you need to be shifting at 69. Man. It's 7,500 right there. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's because I clutch in and the motor's already accelerating, so it revs okay, up a so little bit. Okay, so number two, you need to be coming off the gas. Come off the gas, get in gear, get back on the gas. That's how you shift? Yeah. Crazy, right? uh, Sorry, I, had no idea. I don't know why no one's ever told you. <laughs> I've just been winging it the whole time. Just sending it. And then three, we need to pull the seat out. <laughs> that is the key. 
Yeah, I'm very upset I went slower. You can tell. Highs and lows, the sport. At least the motor is together. Motor is good. Transmission is working currently. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need. <laughs> it's fine. The whole car is just like vibrating violently after like one six ish. I mean, it's the whole time because the exhaust is dumping right there. And this seat is just like. <laughs> yeah, it transfers everything. But that's how I feel in the other seat. I can't imagine the middle seat. It's pretty it sick. It vibrates my butt bad enough on that side. All right, well, I think that's a wrap for today. If it's not, there's literally no one over there. I don't want to keep making these passes. <laughs> I mean, we could make another hit today, but I'd rather save. We I have would. two more full days. Sure. And it's we're an NA car. The tune-up is on point. We're not really chasing something. All you're doing is dialing in what you are doing. This is all dialed in. Which you're, isn't going. You're testing what you're doing, right? Because this this is not going to change. No, the motor's not going to change. Yeah. We don't. Your tune is solid. You're within one percent, which is uh, as good as it's going to get. Yeah. Well, that's because I'm a really good tuner. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Fifth gear is a long pull. I would just change something radical, dude. Like what? Try shifting pull at 68. Oh, shift early now. Yeah, yeah, the motor yeah. does shift peak early. at 62. So, like, when I shift into fifth gear, it's at... When it hits fifth, it's at 5,200. And then it goes from 52 to 7. Okay, so that's it for today, then. Tomorrow, we're going to try shifting it at 6,800. The thought process is because the motor isn't peaking very high, um, we can have a better average torque curve throughout the RPM range. And then tomorrow morning, the DA is obviously going to be a lot better. It's at 2400 right now, um, and it's pretty hot. It's 86 degrees, so tomorrow it'll be in the 60s. There's going to be making a lot more power back then, too. Yeah. We should be able to get our couple more mile an hour. But good news is I already crushed 185. I went faster than I was expecting to go this weekend already. And I get my 180 plus t-shirt now. And that's what it's all about. See you tomorrow.